wildcat at sea, that charmer on land, your singing, dancing, tantalizing favorite, Yvonne De Carlo. Oh, I sailed, sailed the seven seas and maybe seven more, and I'll be true to any man as long as he's ashore. And introducing as the pirate Baptiste, handsome, dashing Philip Friend. You teased and wheedled everybody aboard this ship. You shot all discipline to shreds, and now you tell me how to treat my crew. With Robert Douglas, implacable enemy. Elsa Lanchester, delightfully zany. Andrea King. And Norman Lloyd, sinister master of intrigue. Then why haven't you gone to the police? For one reason, madame, because you and your uncle have always been his protectors. I would like nothing better than to see him hang. Here is the color and gaiety of old New Orleans in a swashbuckling, spine-tingling adventure rich in booty and beauty. And the irrepressible, irresistible antics of this lovable spitfire of a gal. When he comes aboard, tell him I'll be waiting in his cabin. I warn you, the master won't like it. He'll like it. Got a snipe! Cow! I wasn't good enough for you and your friends last night. Well, they're not good enough for me today. Debbie, stop acting like a... Times called it tingling with excitement. The Detroit News said it's the best crime play in years. The London Daily Mail headlined, a murder thriller with a difference. The New York Daily Mirror wrote, it holds your attention like a vice. Where's the nearest police station? What could you tell them? I should simply tell them that you're trying to blackmail me into... Into? Murdering your wife. Fantastic, isn't it? But you know he's right, don't you, Tony? You've worked it out to the smallest detail. And this man is to be your murder weapon for the perfect crime. And you, Margot, you've been living dangerously, too dangerously, a married woman with a two-party line to your affections. And Mark, ironic, isn't it, that in this design for death, you should be selected to be the perfect alibi for the murder of the woman you love. Are you ever going to tell Tony? about us. No. I couldn't possibly tell him. Not now. There is evidence, however, that he was blackmailing you. Blackmail? Yes, I'm afraid it's true, Tony. And you suggest that he came in by the window. And we know that he came in by that door. But he can't have come in that way. That door was locked. You could have let him in. century, science has studied Mars, the only planet where life may exist. Now the screen creates for you the fascinating, frightening spectacle of the first flight to Mars. Hurtling through the universe, rocketing toward terrifying dangers. Good heavens, we're heading right into it. This could destroy us. 
We'll have to get out of it. On toward Mars, with disaster threatening at every moment. Human emotions caught up in the terrific tension of the flight. Here is the suspense, the surprise, drama of the unknown. Flight to Mars. We have been expecting you. You will come with us now. Amazing underground Martian cities, a planet of wonders, both scientific and human, of exciting beauty. Do you still object to my proposal? To destroy these people and all the people on the world as well? Yes, I do. Our planet is dying. If this ship ever leaves here, it may well be our last chance for survival. You know the way we've constructed this thing? There's a good chance we might be able to bring back a couple of extra people. I didn't want to tell you until I was sure of it. But you're going back with it. Tense, exciting adventure on a planet of forbidding danger. Starring Marguerite Chapman and Cameron Mitchell. This knight is no stranger. Only one Saxon could ever fight like that. This black knight's tricks bear watching. I think I know that knight, Rebecca. But how do you? By all that's wonderful, I almost see myself grown young again, Ruina. Your name, sir knight? Or your degree? My name I withhold. My allegiance is to Richard, King of England. By the laws of chivalry, you have earned the right this day to choose who shall be queen of love and beauty at our sport. It is our pleasure you shall appoint her, so that one at least shall mourn you when you lie cold beneath your shield.
Montel tells what could happen within your lifetime when worlds collide. An astronomer checks and double checks his horrifying discovery. A distant star racing through space toward an inevitable collision with this planet. Nothing is going to happen. When worlds collide, you'll see the most amazing, awe-inspiring scenes ever put on film. The forces of nature unleashed in all their terrifying force. Tremendous tidal waves smashing New York City. The molten fires from the bowels of the earth gushing out to consume our world.